Oh hoi hoi there folks and welcome back to the In Stock Takedown where today we have a little parcel from the Big Bad Toy Store for we are going to have a look at the Legends of Lucha Libre Fanaticos line so for those of you who didn't already see it we saw the uh, the deluxe figures already Penta and Phoenix what do we got here Big Bad Toy Store yeah let's give them some love because quite frankly they have a lot of lots of shites that I love I could totally go for Sub-Zero right now uh, but yeah, no, uh, I, I appreciate the store. Not sponsored, hashtag, you're never going to sponsor me, but yeah, do like Big Bad Toy Store. Never had any issues with them, they're always fantastic. So, we have ourselves the Tire Valkyrie figure and the Juventus Guerrera figures. So, let's move the box out of the way. I didn't get the complete set. There is also um, a Phoenix and a Penta in this... Um, articulation this this uh what is it cost costs range range price price range price range i'll get there eventually fuck me uh, but since i already have the yeah the deluxe ones i didn't want to get the other ones plus they come with t-shirts rather than the ring gear and that's just not my thing so i'm looking at the boxes and whilst not as complex as the deluxe boxes uh these fanaticos ones are lovely i mean they look amazing i boss fight studio I've really gone to town on this, you know. These are amazing. I love them. Just, you know, they're big, they're bold, you know. These might as well be full retail things. And if they're not in on shelves, I want to know why. Because, Jesus Christ, these are good. Let's have a look at the back of the box. There we go. Picture of the thing. Fanatico. So we've got the heights, the weight. Nobody's business. I like that. You can't see that because of the bloody ring light. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's business. Fuck off. Uh, from Victoria, Canada, debut, and the Road to Valhalla finisher. Oh, yes, collect them all. So, yes, you can have Penta Zero M, who's got the t shirt on, Ray Phoenix, who's also with the t shirt, and of course, our pal Juvie. So, let's have a quick look at the back of the Juvie box. <laughs> Much the same difference, you know, height, weight, Mexico, debut, frog splash, dragon suplex. Oh, I'm used to him doing the Juvie driver, but then I, I'm very much of the WCW days. But, yes, bossfightshop.com or as I did I ordered them through Big Bad Toy Store because either way direct from the company or Big Bad Toy Store I think they're in they're, I think they collaborate anyway but there we go so let's get these out of the box let's start with let's start with Hoovy because this is the first ever worldwide release of a Juventus Guerrera action figure and it's been a long time coming I've wanted one of these since WCW was releasing figures I mean seriously I, why they never no one not when he was in WWE not when he was in WCW just no one ever released a Juvie figure and that really annoyed me I mean I'd love to have one with him unmasked but oh my goodness yes oh look at that it's not overly complicated I have to say as an action figure so I'm just sitting drinking it in oh Okay. Oh, we've got a stiff ball joint here. Oh, God, I've never had a stiff ball joint before. <laughs> stiff other joints, but never the ball ones. Oh, okay, that's a bit tough. Um, yeah, no, no, it's, it's not a complicated figure. It's really basic. It is incredibly simple. Oh, the mould line there is not so nice. Can you see the mould line around the bottom of the torso? That's not good. But ultimately, you probably won't see it very often. Oh, that is really stiff. Yeah, quite loose, quite thing. Not much detail on the tights, but then Juvie never had a lot of details. Got a little hole on the back. That's always confusing. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, okay. There's detailing on the boots, not too much. Pretty simple, pretty basic figure. Really what you're getting this for is the, is the head sculpt. And as far as the mask goes, yep, yeah, I can't argue with that. That's spot on. That's the Juventus Guerrera mask and the haircut. It's pretty basic, pretty simple, but I like it, I like it. We'll put you down for a minute, Juvie, and then we'll come have a comparison with some other figures. And I can show off the... Uh... Oh. oh, come on. Oh, my God. Okay, these joints are pretty stiff, I have to say. Nothing, not bad, but at least, at least they're not flopping around everywhere. But, yeah, let's get tire out of the packaging. Uh, she did have a run in NXT, but Christ if I can remember what she was called in that. She had a 
poodle or something. I don't fucking remember. It was one of those stupid cocking fucking things that WWE does. Let's have a look at Tyre. So Tyre's got a lot more detail to her, which is really nice because that's kind of what we're looking for here. So that is a spot on head sculpt. Can't go wrong with that. I love the shaved hair. There's a bit of a line where they put on the rest of the, you know, the top part of the hair, but that's okay. That's that's to be expected. I mean, it's not, no, it's kind of obvious. It's not too bad though. That's interesting. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so the torso twists there. It's not a ball joint there. That's a complete solid part. That's okay. That's a bit of a shame. Otherwise, the articulation is much the same. So, uh, the detailing in the outfit is very nice. And let's have a look at this tattoo. So, I remember right that they do tattoos nice. And that is gorge. That is gorge, that tattoo design. Very nice. Coming down, nice detailing on the boots, which looks like a separate piece put over. Oh no, that lower leg is completely separate. This is a completely different mould, anything they've done previously. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. So comparing the two figures themselves side by side, they've gone with tyre, completely different torso. So whereas Juvie has the standard bog, standard neck all the way down to the stomach, one thing on a ball joint at the waist, Tyre's got a lower torso that doesn't move with an upper torso that spins. I'm not a fan of that design, but I, yeah, because I, mm, there's no way to sort of bend her over as such. It's all kind of a bit all stiff and, so going for a pile driver sort of pose, it's kind of like not gonna happen too well, so. Okay, otherwise arms articulations are more or less the same, just a different mold, different sculpt. Legs are identical from what I can see. Inside you can sort of see the ball joints and it's, yeah, they're, they're fairly identical. Knees, same articulation. So overall, I mean, there's an interesting choice with the torso, but as far as differences between the two figures go, yeah, minimal, minimal. And they've kind of kept everything more or less the same. And it's not too bad to scale actually. Because Tyre uh, Valkyrie is slightly taller than you vented, and that's pretty spot on. Tyre, do you want to like stand up, my dear? Tyre, oh great, fuck's sake, god damn Juvie. Bear with me a moment while I reconfigure and reposition, because I want a closer look at these. Okay, so the first things first. How do these two compare to the other line of Legends of Lucha Libre action figures? So let's take a look at Ray Phoenix and bring him in. So. So height wise I would say they're pretty on point they're pretty two standards yeah nothing wrong with that in terms of articulation there are massive differences in articulation the amount of shoulder joint movement that has in the Jalux line compared to Juvie's one single ball joint is ridiculous um, legs are more or less the same though I have to say hips and uh, there is the additional uh, there's the double torso so there's upper torso and lower torso which would have been nice to have on Valkyrie as a Jalux figure, rather than having the single, rather than having just the twisty bit. It would be nice to have the double torso with the crotch, the lower abdomen, and the upper torso there, give the full range of movement. But okay, okay, fair enough. But overall, I mean, okay, detailing wise, yeah, Phoenix has got massive, massive amounts of detail. I mean, just look at his mask compared to Juvie's. Yeah, can we focus? You can see a massive amount of difference there. You can see full on detail. I know Juvie's mask is a lot simpler, but yeah, even the detailing around the nose and the stitching, it's a good figure, but it's not compared to Phoenix's detailing. And the tattoos are comparable. Yep, they didn't do dirty on tires. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. So yeah, are you getting your money's worth when you buy the Jalux figures? the more expensive ones. Uh, I would say compared to the Fanatico series, then yeah, I would say so. What is wrong with these figures and that won't stand up? How do they compare to other lines of action figures though? So, I'm interested to see height-wise, how do they stack up to TNA's Impact series from Toy Biz? Um, you know what? Height-wise, they're about to scale. 
I think they're slightly smaller, because I think tyres meant to be about the same height as Homicide here, representing LAX. But uh, yeah, in terms of articulation, yeah, they're still lacking articulation. These are more of a basic figure. But uh, yeah, there's a little bit more articulation in the TNA impact line. But there we go, that's a nice height comparison, and it's not too bad, it's not terrible. But interesting to see nonetheless. Let's compare to WWE basic figures. So, WWE's basic line. Uh, they are two... They're just about in scale with my Yim. Although I have learnt that WWE's basic line series is just like massively out of scale anyway. But, I don't know, they're not bad. They are in scale. They're happy with that. In terms of articulation, they are pretty much identical. I think the leg here is... Yeah, there's an extra bit of twist on the leg rather than having a much more flexible ball joint which uh, the Legends of Lucha Libre line has but overall I would say they're fairly comparable so yeah that's probably the baseline we're looking at is they are probably on point with the WWE basic series so thank you Maya quick look at comparison to the uh, yeah to the Jalux line from oh here we go from WWE the Elite Series. I, I keep going back to the old Jacks line of, you know, Ruthless Aggression and uh, Deluxe Edition ones, but there we go. So, yeah, I mean, a comparison to the Deluxe line from Legends of Lucha Libra, the Lucha Libra ones have a different shoulder joint to give it a bit of extra thing, and they've got a two ball joints rather than the uh, foldy, twisty one. And a twisty thing. And, oh, yeah, no. So, the WWE Elites tend to have a bit more articulation, and yeah, they're definitely more articulated than the Fanatico series, which we're looking at. Phoenix, go away, because you're just causing me issues. Um, <clears throat> Scale-wise, I would say they're pretty on scale. Uh, I've never seen Tyre and Cesaro in the same ring, but uh, they might be a bit small for the uh, Elites. But I'd say that's fairly on point. I'd, I'd expect Cesaro to be towering over Juvie. Maybe not quite to that extent, but okay, they're not terrible. They're not too far off. We can live with that. How do they compare to the AEW line? So, let's have a little bit of the bubbly because, of course, Jericho Juventus, you know, long-standing rivalry. Again, the AEW lines have a lot more articulation in terms of, you know, they've got the additional arm joints. They've got the uh, double elbow joints rather than the single elbow joint that they've got on these. Um, I've both got the double knee joints, which is always good. And da -da -da -da, take off your stupid bubbly t-shirts. They have the double twisty torso, which we have on the uh, Dulux edition of the Legends of Lucha Libre figures, which I always appreciate. Whereas these are literally the standard solid torsos. Okay, so... Have a look at the ladies' comparison just to be sure, because they are slightly different. So, yeah, again, Chris Statlander has the double twisty torso, whereas Ty's only got the one motion rather than the ball joints. And again, a lot less articulation. These are meant to be in scale, from what I understand, but uh, Chris massively dwarfs Tyre, which is, um, you know, it's a shame, because I'd like them to be more in scale but uh yeah no nah. i think possibly you might be better off with the god damn the wwe figures to have them in scale than the aew ones which is a shame because i'd like them more to be in scale with the aew ones because that's more where i'm at um how did jericho stand up against juvented yeah that's a massive difference that should not be quite that big i mean fuck it is this jericho's in scale Okay, Cesaro is huge, but still, he dwarfs Juvie. He dwarfs Juvie, man. There's not that much height difference in real life. So, yeah, that's a bit of a shame. So, in terms of scale and uh, articulation-wise, you're kind of looking at the basic series from WWE. That's kind of what you're looking at when getting these Fanatico series. So... With that in mind, price-wise, how do they compare? I mean, 
Mm, it's kind of tricky to say because I've got to include shipping with these from Big Bad Toy Store and um, Boss Fight Studios. And so I'm spending a lot more on these than I would a WWE Basic line, which is, you know, you, you can get for a tenner. Is it worth getting these? Um, honestly, I, yeah, it depends. As a standard figure, you know, if, if you're just getting these for the kids, no. No, 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 no. These are not your average on on shelf toy store action figures not worth getting you know the, the the price is just not gonna fit and to be perfectly honest they may not know who these people are which is a shame and if they don't why are you not show <laughs> matches because they're good awesome um but yeah no um in terms of collecting wise i mean to actually have a juventus guerrera it, it's a must for me it's an absolute must. And to have Tyre. Tyre deserves, you know, so much praise and so much love. Uh, yeah, I actually had to have her. So, yeah, if you're a collector, you're going to want to get these anyway. Even with the lack of articulation and the lack of detail compared to the other Legends of Lucha Libre line. They're still good quality figures. They're fantastic. Excellent display pieces. Um, they're, they're pretty solid as well. I think they're going to last a long time. Even with a lot of play, they are going to... Flo uh, got my floppy Guerrero out. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they are going to last. They're going to, you know, even if you do have them to play, they are going to do you a good job. These are these are quality toys. Bottom line, you want to collect them for the, for the characters. You want to collect them and you want to keep them for a long time. They are fantastic quality figures. They are worth the price to you if you are a collector as a standard wrestling action figure enthusiast yeah perhaps not to your standard and it's not really something you're going to get the kids to keep them entertained these are these are collector pieces at the end of the day and it shows you know with the quality of the build the characters they've chosen so with that in mind i think that about wraps it up i don't think i can ramble on much more about these so i've been tim's tct this has been the in stock takedown these have been the Legends of Lucha Libre Fanaticos line, and I shall see you next time we step back between the ropes. Ta-ra for now.